In this short video, I want to show you four things I think editors will enjoy about Newspark.io, a media management platform that is more than just a digital asset manager. It allows you to do things like AI tagging, showing your videos and assets for review, client upload, and multi-destination publishing. Here in the Newspark Media Manager, you can see that I've got a whole bunch of assets here. If I wanted to share one of them for review, I can hit share for review, pop in an email address of somebody who's a contributor to my project, Handily, I can give them a certain number of days to review, let's say 10 days to review, and I'll get them a reminder email in five days. It's gonna send a quick email. Then when I open up the link and log in, I can play the clip, pause it. I like that the comments box disappears when I'm watching the video, so it's not a distraction. Uh, test comment here, press submit. And then I can also reply. You can see the replies all in here. Uh, test reply. So far so good, but nothing too unusual. What I really like is that they've added the ability to add a image attachment. So for example, if the client says, you're using the old logo. Now, instead of having to rummage through my emails for the logo or hope that they send it, they can just press attach image. I can grab the image and hit submit. And then I can see the image. Having the ability to add attachments to your comments is really helpful as it then centralizes all of the assets that you need as opposed to having to rummage through emails, linking through to their asset management hubs to find files. Everything is in one place. If you're working with longer files but you only need short sections, then one of the things I really like about Newspark.io is the ability to trim and clip assets and have them be available to download in the original codec and video format. So if I jump into trim and clip, you can see that I've got a whole long interview here with Simon. But if I just wanted to set a start time, I can pause it, set start, jump through to the part that I will need, stop, set an endpoint, and then I can generate a downloadable clip. Let's just call this interview, and create clip. This is super helpful if you've got long interviews like this, but you only need little bits, or if you're trying to clip a specific shot of B-roll from an original asset, you can just jump in, grab the shot you need, and download that specific part. The next thing I really like about Newspark is the ability to publish your final projects to multiple platforms at the same time. So here I can select these and hit publish later or publish now. This just makes it much easier to set the date and time that you want things to go live and have it all done ahead of time without having to work your way through multiple systems and multiple logins. You can have them all saved here. So if you're working with different clients who have different YouTube channels, you could have them all saved here and schedule publishing for a later date. One of Newspark's superpowers is the ability to use AI for automated tagging of objects, people, celebrities. You can take a clip and either auto tag it with one of four different options. So scenes and objects like cars and vehicles, pets, text detection, so finding text in the video, celebrity recognition, and content moderation. If there's nudity or violence weapons or things like that that you don't want to be shown in your video or to have timestamps for each detection. So in this case, I'm gonna choose celebrity recognition. This is going to use two minutes of my remaining allocation it's going to be queued. One of the things I've really appreciated about Newspark is that you can see the complete history of everything that's happened to a file. So here you can see that it's queued for celebrity auto-tagging. The celebrity auto-tagging is completed and you can see that it's found a whole bunch of different famous people such as Daniel Craig, Jonah Hill, Eddie Murphy, Chris Hemsworth, people like that. When you're searching for an asset you can use the filter system to look for the kind of things you need which is a great way to be able to quickly identify the things that you want and where they're stored or likely to be stored, the date that they were probably uploaded, who they uploaded by, and then specific IDs such as tags and things like that. Check out my full review of newspark.io. Just click the link in the description.